In today's video, we'll be taking a look at all of the new PlayStation 4 game releases this week. We've got new games as well as a big piece of DLC, so we'll be taking a look at all of those. On top of that, we've got a confirmation on when we're going to be seeing more of a highly anticipated JRPG. Remember that today is your last chance to take advantage of an absolutely awesome GameStop summer sale. A lot of great PlayStation 4 game deals are a part of that, and you should take advantage of it before it runs out. And we've got confirmation on a pretty slick side scrolling action game coming to the PlayStation 4. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk about all of the new game releases this week. A lighter week in terms of there's not that triple A big budget game. However, we have a lot of smaller titles that do look interesting in their own right. We've got one absolutely zany title that I'll get to in a little bit. But let's get started with the six new game releases. First up, we have Mother Gunship. Mother Gunship is a pretty stylish bullet hell first person shooter where you craft your own guns, fight gigantic bosses, and defeat a robotic alien armada that conquered Earth. Face off against overwhelming odds and brutal non-stop combat where thinking on your feet is the only way to survive. Mother Gunship is releasing on July 17th. Next up, we also have the release of Tempest 4000. Now, you might be familiar with a little game called Tempest. It's a very classic arcade title, and Tempest 4000 is an action-packed tube shooter that's based on that. It's developed by game designer Jeff Mindner, and Tempest 4000 remains faithful to the original fast-paced gameplay by putting you in control of the claw. A powerful spacecraft equipped to destroy deadly creatures and other obstructions with rapid-fire shots on vibrant geometric prisms. Touting fantastical graphical environments, 100 levels, 3 game modes, and more, you must eliminate all enemies as fast as possible to survive and compete for the highest score on the leaderboards. Tempest 4000 is hitting the PlayStation 4 on July 17th. Next up, we have a pretty major piece of DLC for Far Cry 5, and that is Far Cry 5 Lost on Mars. This is Far Cry 5's latest DLC pack, and of course, it'll take you on an adventure through Mars. This DLC is coming with a lot of brand new equipment, including the Blaster of Disaster, Hellfire, and Morphinator. The DLC is also going to be adding Mars content to Far Cry Arcade, so that is going to allow you to make various maps. So that is going to open the floodgates to allow for creation of much more original maps. And I mentioned there will be new weapons in Mars, however, there will be new weapons for you to use in the main game as well, so that should be some fun. I know a lot of you guys have probably fallen off of Far Cry 5 at this point, but if you want to revisit the game, Lost on Mars is going to add some new content and it'll be hitting on July 17th. Uh, vaguely. Well, Brosif, you better buckle up because that time has arrived. Next up, we have Sonic Mania Plus. Now, Sonic Mania was a very well-received game, one of the best-received Sonic games in a long time. At the very least, it's been the best in Sonic Generations. And if you've yet to check out Sonic Mania, well, Sonic Mania Plus is going to be the game to buy. This, of course, features the base Sonic Mania titles, as well as a host of brand-new opponents, including brand-new characters in Mighty the Armadillo and Ray the Flying Squirrel. On top of that, you got a fully playable Angel Island Zone. The competition mode has been expanded. There's an encore mode mode that's being added to the game, a new pinball bonus stage in the style of Sonic the Hedgehog Spinball, a save and playback function for speedrun attempts, optimized difficulty for bosses, and so on. This is the definitive Sonic Mania experience and it's coming to the PS4 on July 17th. Next up, we have an absolutely zany game, and that is Chicken Assassin Reloaded. Now, Chicken Assassin Reloaded released all the way back in 2016 on PC, and it actually has a pretty good reception. If you find the game over on Steam, the game has a very positive feedback. It's a $4.99 title on Steam, so don't be expecting anything expansive, but it's a fast-paced action RPG with an outrageous storyline filled with over-the-top humor that boasts a myriad of colorful enemies and visually stunning levels and environments. You play as Mean McAllister, the living embodiment 
statement of what would happen if you combine Rambo, Foghorn, Leghorn, a bottle of hot sauce, and a case of energy drinks together, or so they say. Yes, the game is called Chicken Assassin. I wouldn't expect anything that immersive, but if you want something to have a little bit of fun with, this is definitely going to be the game for you. It's hitting the PS4 on July 17th. Next up, we have Adventure Time Pirates of the Incridian. Adventure Time is making its transition over to the video game realm, and it's doing so in a cartoony RPG. The game will allow you to explore the land of you freely, discover secrets, and collect loot with playable fan-favorite characters Finn, Jake, BMO, and Marceline. You set sail across the high seas between kingdoms and venture into uncharted territories to figure out what's going on. You can upgrade your heroes, use items, spells, potions, and unique ultimate hero abilities to battle bad guys in fast-paced tactical combat. Yes, this has all of the elements of a traditional RPG. Kind of gives me vibes of South Park The Stick of Truth in that it's taking a popular IP and making it into a traditional RPG. Obviously, Adventure Time is a lot different than South Park, but you get the idea. Adventure Time Pirates of the Incredian will be hitting the PlayStation 4 on July 17th. And finally, we have The Moose Man. The Moose Man is another game that released on PC a while ago, but this game has such a cool look to it that I wanted to mention this as well. In this game, you are the Moose Man, and you have the ability to see all that is hidden to the mortal eye. You are about to visit three layers of the game's universe. The first one is the lower world, where the spirits of the dead reside. Dive into a deep, dark atmosphere of Falcomi music, and meet long-forgotten gods and spirits. Another game to keep your eyes on has a good reception on Steam. The Moose Man will be hitting the PlayStation 4 on July. July 18th. Я парищ кучкас, и мёк тогда кучьешуана. Мия съешуама, морт варумас. So those are all of the brand new game releases this week. I don't know if there are a lot of titles that everyone's gonna be rushing out of their seat to pick up, but with titles like Sonic Mania Plus, Mother Gunship looks great, Tempest 4000 is gonna be pretty good, and I personally am excited for Chicken Assassin Reloaded. There are a couple of hidden gems this week that you should have your eyes on. Moving on from that, let's talk about some game news. Grand Blue Fantasy Project will link for the PlayStation 4, a new JRPG by Platinum Games will be getting a new reveal in December. According to the developers of the game, more information about the title will be shared at the Psy Games Fest event, and that'll be hosted in Japan on December 15th and December 16th. We talked about Grand Blue Fantasy Project Rolling quite a bit back when it got its major reveal for the PlayStation 4, and this game looks absolutely fantastic. It's got an incredible art style, and the gameplay looks very fluid. The Grand Blue Fantasy has been around for quite a while, but us over here in the West aren't really familiar with it. However, hopefully this is the title that comes over here to the West because I see it performing very, very well. Right now, it's not going Confirm for a Western release, but I think it would be a huge missed opportunity if it wasn't. The publisher Side Games did have a brief appearance at E3, so they're definitely opening their doors to a Western audience, and I think it's a foregone conclusion that this game will be coming to the West at some point. Just don't get too excited at the earliest. I think this is going to be a late 2019 game. I don't think we're going to be seeing it released for quite a while, but as far as seeing new gameplay, that'll be coming December 15th and December 16th. As I mentioned at the top of this video, this is your last chance to take advantage of GameStop's Game Day's Summer Sale incredible savings on a lot of PlayStation 4 games, a lot of great titles. Far Cry 5 is down to $40, Kingdom Come Deliverance is down to $35, Dragon Ball Fighters is down to $40, Dragon's Crown Pro is down to $40, and there are so many other great deals available, so I would take advantage of that ASAP. By the way, Monster Hunter World is also $29.99, that's an absolutely ridiculous deal, and in terms of dollars per hour of gameplay, it doesn't get much better than
than MH World for just $30. So that sale ends today. You can go buy games on their website, or of course, you could go over to your local GameStop, whichever one's easier. But as I mentioned, today is the last day. And finally, side scrolling action game Dead or School is coming to the PlayStation 4. Dead or School came to Steam early access on July 11th, and now it's coming to the PlayStation 4. Here's what the developer said Dead or School, our game made by three people, safely managed to reach 1 million yen in sales on the first day. As a team of three, over a period of several years, we're still a long way from breaking even, but it's been a wonderful study. Next month, we will submit the game for inspection on Switch, PS4, and Xbox One. We're truly grateful to those who bought it. Here's a synopsis of the game's story. Zombies have conquered the land of Tokyo without hope in underground shelters. People lived quietly. Hasako, a girl who grew up underground, heard the word school from her grandmother. School is where children play and learn. It is a paradise for young people, the best place to spend their youth. Hasako dreamed of this school, and one day she was on an underground train headed above ground. What awaits her despair. So pretty simple context as far as Japanese games go, but hopefully Dead or School is released on the PlayStation 4 before the year's end, and hopefully the developers end up breaking even for this game, because I am always a big fan of smaller studios that are just a couple of people releasing a game and actually getting successful. That is always a nice story. So that is going to conclude this video. Let us know, are you checking out any of the new PlayStation 4 game releases this week? Again, not a lot of big titles, but a couple of interesting games nonetheless. Grand Blue Fantasy Project Ruling, the highly anticipated JRPG by Platinum Games, will be getting more information sometime in the middle of December. Today is your last chance to take advantage of GameStop's epic summer sale, Monster Hunter World for $29.99. That is an insane deal. And the side-scrolling Japanese action game, Dead or School, will be coming to the PlayStation for sometime in the future. That's going to conclude this video. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.